Hey, and welcome to another attempt to play BG3. Um, we have now hopefully sorted out my technical issues. <laughs> Which I know I've said a bajillion well, times. We, we, we know what the issue is now. You were severely overheating in your CPU. Your CPU was going cray cray. And it still is a little bit, but we've uh, got some extra fans put in this case. And we're keeping an eye on the temps while we have a, a, an, an all in one order. It just won't be here until next week so that's right yeah we thought it, but we, we um, thought it was a power supply and we we're like maybe it's a gpu and like it was a heat issue though maybe it was the outlets in the house and i was like nope it was the cpu cooler has just completely crapped out so oh it's terrible yeah, it needs yep. to replace Shot. anyway let's pick up where we left off by talking to old dame Aelin with shadowheart about shadowheart's fucked up past which i imagine we will now explore can't wait all right so let's go have a chat with her Get that white haired shadowheart on the go it is time we spoke about your heritage there's a debt I must repay. You claim to know something about me. You knew about the wolves. Tell me everything. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. Shazen Molded her into the perfect little shark. The type of shark you can just your true drop off, off in a pool of water and leave. That can't be. I was always loyal to Sha. Until you weren't. weren't. Do you hmm. think it was but a brief lapse? A moment of madness? No. I think you finally listened to your heart. When you freed me from the Shadowfell, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain, his inflicted on me. Which I got a natural 20 on in order to break. You, which was wonderful. I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others someplace distant. Let me help you remember, so there will be no doubt. A memory appears at the forefront of your mind. Hmm. Oh, look at young chart. <laughs> There we go. Oh. And a werewolf. Clear werewolf. Do we not like werewolves? Usually they're evil, but not always. <clears throat> that wolf. That elf. Who was he? You I am your father. Who he is. Did you not he see is your father. Do you not recognize your own blood? He is your father. And he lives still. As does your mother. I felt them. Bound to you. That can't be. I'm an orphan. Mm. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman, one who knows what must be done. I have to find my parents. You will have going to face home. your abductors in their very lair, in Baldur's Gate. There is one more way in which I can help you. You have been forewarned, and now you shall be forearmed. You will remember this spear, no doubt. It was to be the instrument of my death. Now, it will hmm. become a parting gift in exchange for my life. Guess she says she's not in despair anymore. She's lost in the shadow. She is despair. Okay. How do you have it? Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. I felt the spear call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shar calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Huh. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will need it. But what you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. A debt repaid. 
You gave me my life back. Now go and claim your own. There must be more you can tell me. Your mind is a deep, dark wood. There are dead ends, shadowy corners, lurking threats. I was lucky to be able to glean as much as I did. Interesting. <laughs> Besides, there are more hardships ahead. Knowing too much may cause you to despair, while a little ignorance may shield you. One last thing. Your parents have been in the hands of Shah's followers for some 40 years. It must take tremendous will for mortals to hold out that long. Hmm. See that their sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Okay, I'm a. Uh, you should talk to Shar. I mean, talk to Shadow Heart, sorry. I can't. I'm just gonna level up her. No, let's talk to her first. Finish the conversation. Fine, I will also level up. It's not gonna take that long. All right, so we need to pick out a feat for Starion. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't take long, babe. I'm not gonna flop around with her spells or anything. All right, I'm gonna talk. I, I could do ability improvement for Starion because he's got three odd level. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. ability improvement is not a bad so choice then. Get a couple. So I can pop his decks up to 18. Oh, that would be a good idea. And, and then we have intelligence and wisdom that are also odd numbered. Hmm. That's not some bad. That's not bad choices there. With the ability score improvement. I just have six illiterate power things too. Popping up wisdom one wouldn't be too bad for rolls and checks and things. Mobile could be good for him too. Mobile's a decent feat, yeah. If you move after making a, a melee attack, you don't provoke an opportunity attack. Seeing as he always has cunning action stuff, so like I don't know if not, that's overkill. Yeah, you're not wrong. It sounds like he's saying like, oh, there's synergy there, but it's also like I can already do that, so like, do I need to be able to do it again? Great weapon master's not bad either. No, it's not bad. So when you land a crit or kill a target with a melee weapon attack, you can make another melee weapon attack as a bonus action that turn. And then attacks of melee weapons you are proficient with and are wielding in both hands can deal an additional 10 damage at the cost of a minus 5 attack roll penalty. Mm. Toggle it on and off. Defensive duelist isn't bad. No, offensive duelist isn't bad. I, I think ability score increases may be one of the better ones then. What would I do besides dexterity? I have intelligence and wisdom that are also odd. I feel like wisdom saves are more common. Will that really be worth it though? Maybe not then, I don't know. Good question. Might level up some other people, I guess, while you're doing that. I don't know who else needs to be brought. Oh, I can talk to Shadowheart. Well, never mind. In order to level up other people, I need to talk to Shadowheart, so I need to wait for you. I'm gonna... <clears throat> what was that one that let me attack again and again?
I'm gonna do this one, I think. I went with defensive duelist. Did you talk to Shadowheart? No, I did not. Okay. I was waiting for you, bye. Well, I'm here. Let's talk to her. I'm still setting up the bar. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her. See what you gotta say. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the. Nope, yes, she surprisingly has not that much to say. Mm, okay, I can say this, I guess. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. Obviously, she loves me. Big dick swinging, boys. Like she knows a good chinless beer when she sees one. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Savage float. Alright, I will. dismiss her, maybe? Travel with her for a bit. I don't know who else I should take out. Um, I feel like Carlac should come out a little bit soon. Yeah, Carlac. Or like Vale, maybe. You could take out Basil. Yeah, we could. We could have some. Uh, uh, enter the new city with our lovers. That's yeah, true. We could. Yeah. Grab Basil. Oh, we do need Gale for a minute though, because one thing I want to grab. I kind of feel like do I want Carlac or, or even Jahira too, babe? Okay. We haven't messed around with Jahira. Yeah, there's one thing I need to do. We need to do before we leave. But only Gale can do it. What's that? I don't really know what it is, that's why I'm kind of thinking you should do it, because I know what it is. What, in Act 2, you mean? Yeah. There's only one thing I came across that I want to do before we go. Oh, well, you, okay, well, we can do it. I think... Because because I already know, and you don't want spoilers, uh, maybe you should take Gale and do it. Okay, I guess. Already feeling better. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. As your temps. If uh, you're sure. Seems okay. Oh, no, it's up to 88, 90 there for a second. That's but fine. Now it's gone, is, uh... Those aren't gonna crash your computer. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It's like an 82 there now, it's fine. Alright, let's go let's grab Gale, I guess, and head to sleep, I suppose. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth. Oh, right, we talked to everyone to see what, the, what they think of that. Mm hmm. I'll give us some line about it. With Yeah, I like having everyone's lines. Okay, let's do that before we go to sleep. Better not be cursed. So, it's a quest to free Shadow Heart's parents, is it? <laughs> and here I was, worried I'd be the <laughs> only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. <laughs> Alright, over attack with Carl, I guess. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. Mm. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. Me too, girly girl. Mm. Oh, Gortash. Yes, please. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid. <laughs> brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money. So I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. You know. Just, it felt like a good fit. Mm. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened hmm. so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel hmm. love. Said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able Zario, to. the fallen it. angel. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. That was she is, the fallen angel. Yeah, Zariel once served legions in heaven, but. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah. Hmm. Mm. I 
could persuade her to do it, apparently. She feels very against her character, though, to be honest with you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, Will's here, too. Parasite Orin, I'd never heard tell of. But, uh, yeah, I think I did that conversation, didn't I? That's what I did. Taken from the the truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can follow its light, or she can Holy fuck, Will's so fucking cheesy, dust. dude. Will is literally just a walking fucking cheese board. Yeah, so. Alright, let's just go to sleep and fucking beat off. I mean, um, go to sleep and rest. Oh. Oh, it's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. I want my AC is now with its heavy armor efficiency, but it's fucking sick. The end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fun. Alright, we need to go to... Wherever Balthazar's bedroom is. Is that Moonrise? Yeah, it is. Moonrise Tower. We leave the heart of the Absolute hmm. alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. Hmm. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Hmm. I'm worried about what I might do to my allies. Whatever you might do to one cannot be worse than what the Chosen will unleash on all. And you Fair. are hmm. the one who could prevent it. True. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. True. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Hmm. Hmm. Were we anyone left when we arrived at the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Uh -huh. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen. Oh. Alright, try again. Um, more rice towers. Yes, we were still aiming rice towers, babe. In the curse. Oh. Yeah. Also, just uh, I had to put my graphics down on 
Oh, baby, the kids are up here. Where? Where? As well as a fee and stuff, just up on the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna talk to him. That's what he got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they said yes. we should ask Once adult to open mall. This song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Okay. What? What is? Did she say? She say Alfira? Miss Alfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Maul. Hmm. Need to find Maul. I got a feeling she'll come back on her own sometime later. Alfira is writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Maul back. Tell her, won't you? We feel like to talk to Alfira, babe. Yeah, she's just right here. Can you not talk to someone for a second so I can actually like get a chance to walk back here? Give me a second. I'm almost back. All right, that's better. Can hardly feel the spinning. <sighs> Where is a concert hall and a band when you need? You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Huh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. Maul's gonna show up. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. <gasps> Bold. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. I wonder if you were a bard class. You... Oh, definitely. Yeah, you probably could help out. What's in here? Yeah. I'm concerned about Maul. What does that quest look like right now? It just says that uh, we didn't find her and she may have escaped. Fleet of Nautiloids leave for Baldur's Gate. She may have escaped on one of the Nautiloids, apparently. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, so I'm in Baldur's bedroom with Gale. What do you want me to do in here? Um, that's upstairs, right? Okay. So there should be... Hey, have we checked all the doors in there? Yes. No. We checked all the walls? May it please, Mistra. Anything... Remain to be seen. Holy shit, babe. You know when we were trying to lock, lock pick that door? There's a literal lever right next to it that opens it. Oh, wow. Lol. Um, I, I don't think so, baby. Um, you know, I'll walk around with him here. Maybe something will happen. No time for stargazing. More's the pity. Hmm. There is, in, supposed to be in here, a hidden room. Blood the bank bottle. Oh my god. Necromantical room. Hmm. Was in Mouser's bedroom, maybe I. I would assume it's like. Probably behind this bookshelf will be my guess. Very well. Looks like there's could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, bookcase puzzle. It looks like there's something behind this bookshelf. There was at one point some poison and stuff here. Something happened. Hmm. 
Oh, there's poison in the room. Oh, 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 I see. <clears throat> oh, shit. What did you do? How did we get rid of it? Let's go to the front door. Over. Where's the lever? Where's the lever? Okay. Uh, looks to have dissipated. Sure, I guess. Let's get my bear to beat down these doors, because I don't want it. I'm shagging around looking for places here. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Yeah, I mean, I know that one pulls out poison, because, I mean, like, if you look at that one, the bottom right row of the bookshelf there, babe, it's actually, like, a circle. And there's a couple other ones that are also labeled... Oh, but which bookshelf are you talking about? One right in to your right, your character's right. There's a bookshelf that has rows of books and also like a metal bar across it. Yeah. Some of the bookshelves are interactable objects, like normal rows, of, like normal rows of book are. However, right. there are a few there that are labeled differently, and are I have like gear signs. For example, in the bottom right of the bookshelf, there's a bookshelf labeled "Poison and Venoms" that oh, has the I thing. See. That's the one that's at poison. There's another one labeled "Galvanic Interrogations" on the left in the middle section. Another one right above it labeled "Conventional Medicine." So those are the only three that look a bit different. I mean, I just check. Okay, I see. I'm gonna try the galvanic interrogations one. See what happens. Oh, the skull up above turned light lighted up when I did that. Oh, that clearly didn't do anything. I go stand out here. What was that? Uh, the poison's just did it again. I don't know. There should be one more. I tried. Well, there's three of them, but I think it's more about the correct order. There's four of them. Oh, I only found three. Something good here, I hope. Now there are like these gargoyles above them that do light up, like. So there's two left, right? Oh, sorry, there's there's one more that you haven't pulled. It's the Musty Tomes one. Oh, there's a Musty Tomes one, yeah. Okay. Now we can interact with this thing over here. Oh, it's an insert item into this ancient altar. I have no idea what to put there, though. Something we picked up earlier, maybe, or always just put in there. Let me tell you. I mean, I'm not gonna figure it out. No way. I put a heart in there. I would never, ever. There's a note that was on the on the front door that sort of hinted at it. I don't know what we did the note because it's not there There's anymore. There's a heart right here, yeah. Let's see what this does. I mean, it's interesting, but like I never would have. Okay, now Gale specifically has to do this next part. Well, I'm gonna save them. Around, so it might as well. I venture forth.
Do you have a hat? I don't think so. Hmm, that'd be a good, good hat for Gale. I feel like it's a very Gale hat. Gale had a hat when he came in and he hung it on the rack. Gale had a hat. There's a lot of broken blue lanterns and a lot of dead pixies here. There are. This is true. Ritual circle. A ritual circle. Judging by the shadow sigils inscribed, it was used in the creation of Balthazar's moon lanterns. Though its power is weakened, you could still use the shattered pixies Balthazar discarded to craft one final lantern. Not to repel the shadows, but to wield them. Mistra forbids the use of such magic. She would insist the sigils be destroyed, the circle's evil dissipated. I mean, I feel like Gale wouldn't do this then if Mistra forbid it. Like, it's very much so against his character, you know? Like, 100%. Oh, I'm interested in what the Shadow Lantern does, but I mean, he would erase it. If Mistra forbids you such. So you, you can make a lantern that'll wield the shadows, yeah. or you can uh, erase the shadow sigils as Mistra would want. Fuck that, I'm erasing the shit. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade, the circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. I mean, the only thing is from like a practical. Do you feel the touch of a reassuring hand on your Like from a practical perspective, like, I don't know, like those pixies Mistra are already dead, so like, you know, like, it's not like it's gonna save them somehow. He's got a question mark over his head. Does that mean talk to him? Yeah. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Did you feel that? I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands. I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. Huh. <laughs> That's Mistra's power for you. Where there's even a trace of magic, she will Did be you really think Gale was gonna Cheeto? There's clearly some magic in you I don't if you so. were able to sense her presence. But I think I felt something stronger. <laughs> She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the Absolute in one piece. Strange, though. That she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. A blessing's a blessing, and this one should come in most useful. You got Gail got some sort of buff? Yeah, he has yes. a permanent buff now. Mistress Benevolence. Gail's advantage on concentration What's checks. It? That's good. Really good. The other option would have, uh, uh, um, those, like, big shadow monsters that attack us, mm. it would have let you summon one. A goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of illithid parasites. Whatever ungodly experiments. There's also a brain there. Killed them. A lot of stuff in there. There's room. a lot of stuff that's like hard to count. I sent you a hat. Have a look at it. I had a hat when I came in. I hung it on the rack. Oh, Gail does have a hat. He's got circle of blasting. He gives him a level two scorching ray. Okay, that's not bad. Look at the hat I gave him. That's not bad. Maybe do a cold damage. Also applies two turns of encrusted frost. Pretty cool. Disadvantage on deck saving throws. And when there are seven or more turns remaining, the entity must uh, succeed on a con saving throw or take 1d4 cold damage and become frozen. Oh, the cold room hat, yeah. I it looks cool. Just put it on for a second. I want you to look like on him. Oh, that's sick. Great hat for him. I mean, who would, could use. Will could probably use a Scorching Ray range attack. No, he already has. Probably Carlac. Scorch Ray and Carlac would be okay. Oh, what did I just send to Carlac? I don't know. Ah, actually, you know what? He I just, I, he has a Snowburst ring that I sent him earlier, too. That would go with the hat quite well. There's a ring there in his inventory that would go really well with him. Hmm. You replace the Callus Glow ring with the um, Snowburst ring. I think that would be very effective. Can I do it? I can't. Cool. Alright, let's roll out. Um, the ring, babe. 
What about it? Uh, there's the, it's the third item in his inventory, Snowburst Ring. It deals cold damage, so it would um, pair quite well with that if you replace the, the glow ring. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. And then the element infused your weapon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, could be alright. Yeah, he's sort, of, he's sort of going together now. What's that we should put on him? Where gains arcane charge hit by me late. Yeah, okay, that's better. What are your gloves, sir? Those bracers are very cool. Where'd you get those? Being a fucking pimp daddy. I don't have any purple items. Spell slot restoration. I forgot about that. Hmm, there's a bonus action on long rest. Huh. Okay. So, what else are we doing here in Act 2? Uh, I don't know of anything else to do in Act 2. Personally. Okay, so how the fuck do we get to Act Three? You said the Risen Road, right? Isn't that? Oh yeah, there's a there's a there's a um a quick point. A quick point? Yeah. Yep. Road road to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh. I'm not certain what just happened. What happened? Oh, I'm back on. Yeah, I thought I transported there, but apparently I did not. All right, on the road again. Oh, can't I can't wait, wait to get, to get on, on the road, road again. again. Oh, I can't wait to get on with music and my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, are we ready to go? Act three and me. Act three, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bam. Do it. 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 I can't. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The curse oh, has been lifted. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Cathric's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. What a fucking pimp. Look at him with his small and his fucking shitty beard. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna go, go to the city. And we get to see Orin. I've seen a couple clips of Orin, but she seems hilarious in like a really manic pixie way. Can't wait to interact with her. Watch your, uh,. You're saying when we're loading into the new act, then? I got the 85 now. Okay, you're fine. Before it's peaking a little bit, but... It's also... When we're loading, like, everything new like this, yeah. then you're gonna peak a little, you know? Hmm. Maybe you're... Oh, your mic's... You're half cut out in your uh, picture. Oh, hello, Gortash! A lot of gold, sir. I love gold. Oh. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir, no, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. I like how this guy starts running. I was like, yeah, isn't he still in the room? Prison bearers to kill Kethrick. They'll be traveling to the city. 
Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. My prodigal bloodkin is among them. They live? <laughs> Barely. I made mince of their ugly mind matter. And if they dare return, I will strip out their offal. Was that me? Yeah, it's yeah. literally referencing you. So clearly you had some encounters with Orin in the past. And did you say I was her blood? Yeah, she said you were her prodigal prodigal kin, so assuming that means that you worship the same god. Got a murder. Yes, kiss, oh, kiss, right. kiss. Let's go sexy lesbians. Yeah, I'd turn in all my graphics. It's hilarious watching like, the textures popping and stuff. But it is what it is. Honestly, the the, uh, the the wood that you were preparing just then looked like it was on your screen. My mine loaded it really badly just the two. It's all good. Uh -huh. You can do. Well, I can remember the days of sixteen fucking bits. Very <laughs> bit whatever it was. Looks fine. Your stream, if that makes you feel any better. No, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Hello, city. Mm, Balder is great. <laughs> oh, stirring. Oh, Worms Lookout. Okay, cool. This is fun. Oh, someone wants to talk. Who wants to talk? <gasps> I think I want to talk. Darian! Moving ahead. Come back, stop walking away from me! He doesn't love you, babe. He just loves you for your blood. Okay, you can do that. We're here to be abused. The gate is closed. Casador and his right of profane ascension. Hmm. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Doubt. Hmm. Hmm. Say. You say we need to stop him. We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. We also, yeah, Ra Raphael if said, we and we also don't know what it involves. The other spawn, we may discover more. And be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. My, my, you sweet. Oh, my God, babe. And there isn't a moment to waste. I'm not going to let him ascend. I should just let him think we're going to. Okay. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Fair enough. I imagine a lot of the companions they want to talk now and instigate like their Act Three. Definitely. Like, how is my relationship? Are we essentially in a camp right now? Is that what it says? Yeah. It seems to be like an in-between camp. Yeah, we had one last time too. I know. By the way, we won't be able to get Minsk unless we have Jahira with us. Um, that's one thing that I will tell you because I don't want to potentially like end up accidentally missing that. Um, but I don't know anything else relevant. Ooh. 
Carlax just chilling. We forgot to talk to we forgot to talk to Withers before we left. I feel like we should have done that. Oh well. We talked to Withers and he was like. I mean, in the camp. I feel like we should talk to him in the camp. Yeah. Oh, Isabel and, and Dame Aelin are here too. I'm not sure what to say with us. Big camp. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's. <laughs> Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. <laughs> uh, you should draw a camp permanently. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Oh. Hmm. Uh, how do you think it's done your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds. You must face them. I will help. I think that's the conversation I had with her before, I think, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I asked this already, too. No, oh, Withers is over here, staring at the wall. Over where? Let me, hold on, let me come see him. Oh, I see, I see. Let's talk to him. Withers, what are you doing? I'm going to have a conversation with the man. Yeah, yeah, do it. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Oh, bosom companion. <laughs> My bosom I'm friend. Distracted on my quest. Is he referencing Anne of Green Gables? Seeking the comforts of the flesh. <clears throat> Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. With the exception of you, apparently. Hmm. What did you say if I talk? Do I have a bosom friend? I don't think we can I don't think he would call you a bosom friend because the Syrians just using you. My wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Hmm. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh, hmm. so you already talked to the ass, man. I talked to Gale the Whale. How can I help? Mm, nothing. Let's see, let's see. Dr. Ba Basil. Let's see what Halston's got to say, babe. Yep. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she's strong enough to endure. But her path will be easier with our support. Talk to him a second time, too, and you'll get the... Uh... Mm. Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. What would you like to know? Huh. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most. Yeah, I think you already have a conversation with us, so now. you don't yeah, have to listen yeah, to him. I, I've, I've had the conversation. But you should probably do it, but you get all of our relationship up, you know? Yeah. Who's to say? <laughs> perhaps there's a half orc buried somewhere in my hands. Oh, perhaps not. Yeah. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is sure, too narrow a point. about what someone can or cannot be. Orcish blood, half orc blood. Why discriminate? Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up, but eventually I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Nature was my very huh. first friend. Apparently, Thaniel was his older, first friend, babe, when he was a child, and that helped him become a druid. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. And that's why he so wanted to protect him so much. I had to be a huh. protector. <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? Save for me? My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, hmm. with Sylvanas as my teacher. And now I have you. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. 
I'm 350 years old. <laughs> of course there have been lovers. Just because I love nature doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though sometimes nature needs reminding. Right now, I bed down alone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps once I talk less of ghosts and parasites. Well, uh, I didn't pick this scar up in battle. I was in wild shape. Only I forgot it was the season when bears are particularly social. Hmm. A she bear claimed me as her own and did not appreciate being spurned. Apparently, babe, he got the scar after he uh, had relations with another bear. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although, everyone's very amused when I say, I like honey. Mm. Mm. Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. <laughs> I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize... <laughs> Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. Well, they are fierce creatures, from what I understand. But, as long as you avoid them... Any time. Tito, Tito. I think Nicole's gone to light the stoves. All two of them. Rotten carrot, definitely necessary. Well, fuck you at you here. A private word would be nice. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps That's true. Who knows what her parents could have got up to. We press on for now. And hope we're ready could when be not what she hopes. Maybe her parents but are big dicks. That, there's one thing I need to see to. Oh, nice. Yeah. What happens when you have a... Uh, you know, an old wood furnace, you gotta yep. put the wood in the oven. Talking to Shadow Heart now. I see that. Yeah. Do whatever you need to show the concern and so that. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. No problem, girl. Oh, I see. Let's chat with different people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well met. Oh, see what my girl got to say. Basil, how can I assist? 
Talk about us. I'm listening. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Every time you say that, she says no. Yeah, but you can, you can, you can, you can make her say yes. We've discussed this. Oh, I see. Oh, right, because I think you, you, think you lost the uh, uh, persuasion last time. Yeah, yeah. You are Jacques Vonash, too. I had the audacity to invite a man of your... In so doing, you made yourself my possession. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I'm not certain where you hear is that. Oh, she's up here. I was going to talk to her, too. Yeah. You can take her out if you want. Oh, she's up like close to where we started. This camp is freaking huge. Yeah, yeah I, I found her. I can talk to her. Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. So Luna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took the step. Truth, girl, truth. Truth. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Fair enough. I like her clothes. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. <laughs> Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. That's talking to players who play BG2. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's like, don't stop me be a god. <laughs> don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. She's got gilf energy. She has a bit, yeah. It. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief... And very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. Mm. I felt the way they think. Saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Uh. Is that supposed to be a joke? I guess so. No idea. Do not be moved to pity. It is a predator pinned in a trap. True. And if it wriggles free, mm, you'll find it still has teeth. True. You have enough fine young folk to run around and do. I don't like how you can't just kick someone out by doing that. Like, there is there is a couple of mods leaving. I know, it's, cause this is a little quality thing. I now need to go run back across this goddamn camp. Find Gale. God, it's just too long, you, guys. You can right-click him and hit talk hmm. on his picture. Right-click his picture and hit talk, babe. Oh. I still gotta run to him. It still makes you just run to him. Oh, yeah. okay, fine. Go ahead. I'm listening. I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. I think everyone's so resentful, right? He's like, I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Like, bro, he can't be productive? Fucking cut some wood? A starring zone actually seems like he enjoys being at camp. He's like, oh, I'll just be here. It sounds terrible. Yeah. It's very funny. Mm. One final night in the open air, and then back to the city. Rest while you can. I fear that quite a bit of work awaits us. Mm. Ask it. It was Baal alone. Oh, weird. <laughs> Why are you? Have I fulfilled my role? You, you as clicked your it. Did I? You did. Leader? Let's get through. Don't tell me which. Against as you wish. Jahira, Jahira. Ooh, baby, when you Jahira like that, you make it Jahira go up. Oh, look, there are your summons. Babe, yeah, I know, they're right there. Also, she's level one, babe. Oh, you just level Oh, one. fuck me. Here we go. Luckily, I'm okay, okay. an experienced DD yeah, player. No, no. We don't want to 
to be a moon druid? What, what type of druid is she wanting to be? Look at the land. What is that? Look at what is what halter. We don't want another one of those. Spores is fun because she's a higher level now too. And spores is a little bit of the higher level. Yeah, spores is powerful, like as is, because like. It's a completely different kind of druid than from Halson. Hmm. Completely different. She wants to be land, but still, still. Yeah, Circle of Spores is not really her style. She's more of a land druid like, in terms of like her background. Spores is like pretty powerful too, but I don't know if I want to do it though. I need to do Circle of Land. I think Circle of Land is more the spell casting druid. Circle of Moon is like the wall shaping druid. I don't think we don't have for a spellcaster, know what I mean? Well, you're our main spellcaster, yeah, so I suppose we can. Okay, I'm going to try Spores and Spores. We really don't like it, we can always yeah, that's a good choice. Oh, that was for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we keep on going here. We can just prepare the spells at the end. Can't trips. Ooh, guidance. No, we, I don't have a lot of guidance, though. No, we, we, want, we want everybody. I want to have guidance in every situation. Beat. If she's casting spells. She's got wisdom at 17. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah, she's got. Nothing else is odd, though. So ability and See, here's the thing. I almost feel like I should have went the withersness to completely respect her scores, too. But her scores aren't bad. She has decent. But, well, whatever. There are some features you get that's like increase your wisdom by one and do this. And, yeah, and it's yeah. like, well, okay. So is there one that increases wisdom by one, I wonder? Yeah. I'm like frozen. That's what it was. Oh. Not frozen. Okay, for reasons, whatever. Strength of Dexterity Performer. Mm -hmm. This is probably a more resilient increase ability by one to max. We already proficient in wisdom saving throws. Need proficiency in that ability saving throws, yeah. It's pretty much useless. And Warcaster's not bad, because druids have a lot of concentration spells, and they wall shape and they stuff, see? So it's just mm -hmm. not a bad choice all around. Mm -hmm. well, let's grab that and move on. Have a yeah, oh well, yeah, we got other ones to come up. Yeah, sure. Keep going. Level up, level up, but up, up, up. So this is a more thing now, which she can create zombies. Yeah, exactly. Right? Which is weird. I've always found it to be a weird thing, like fungal zombies, because like druids are against the concept of undead, but it's a bit different, I guess. Yeah, we could just later respect her, but yeah, I suppose for now. Dynamic points, baby. Spells? A lot of times that's what it is, because I mean, yeah. a lot of times the, the classes that know all spells in their list oftentimes don't get that much in the level up because they yeah. know all the spells, they can swap it, right? Which is powerful. Darlo for Saurus. Dalaf for Saurus. Dilo for Saurus. Dilo for Saurus. Dilo for Saurus. Um. Resistance to poison spray would probably be up her alley of the spore. No, poison spray. Don't 
also gonna need, um, gonna need armor and stuff. What do you got here for Jeezy? Oh, she got fucking all, babe. Yeah, I know, I know. Does she have medium armor proficiency? No, I think. She should. Alright, let's see what we can toss her away. Great camp clothes, though. Um, okay, let's see what we have. Into Jahira. Use. Scimitars and shield. Oh, she can use scimitars. Okay. Yeah, it's a druid thing to be able to use scimitars. And, uh, yeah, scimitars and shields are probably like your best bet with her. Maybe like a quarter staff or something. At your command. That's a pretty powerful one to give her, her white ray of fear and stuff. Oh, look at look at the one I just entered. Actually, there's an amulet of the Harpers, sort mm. of thematically upper alley. It's pretty thematically upper alley, isn't it? Someday okay, so I'm gonna go grab some down. armor. I mean it. Where the fuck is my traveler's chest? <laughs> I have no idea where that is. Yeah, I haven't found those yet. Okay, I'm gonna check everyone else's inventory while we're at it. I would think it'd be more of the magic mirror, but maybe not. So I, need, I can find the camp chest, because I got medium armor in there, I can toss her away. And with dithers. No. He takes medium armor? It's lighter medium, I'm not certain what druids have. I, they used to have a rule. Um, well, Halson's wearing medium. Probably medium. Just enter some medium armor and then we can pick up afterwards. Yeah, I have no idea where my camp chest is. Get on the map, look on the map. You would think so. Yeah, I don't see the chest. I'm, uh... Real I'm almost in looking through here. Did you find your chest, or the stuff, the stuff that you have on you? This is, I'm, I'm looking through everyone's inventories. Oh, let's see what they have left. Yeah, I'm just tossing anything over that way that seems at all interesting. Hmm. Pick out from from that stuff. All right, so that's everyone's inventory's gone through. Let's see, the chests are you're right now on the map. Okay, let's let's see if I can't find them. Must be here somewhere. She's doing okay now in terms of like her armor and stuff. Oh, babe, they're right here, right, right by uh, by Gail. Not as bad as it could have. Best be on my way. What the? I don't see you interacting with anything. Let's have a look. You don't see the chest right in front of me? Oh, it's invisible. For some reason on my screen. It's extremely weird. Look at that. Oh, weird. Yeah. I was like, uh -huh. I guess we could find them. Yeah. Oh, they were somewhat. Oh, they were somewhat. Looted, but still. 
Mm -hmm. Um, okay, let's see what else do I have here. Two hand stitch. I think I, <clears throat> I think she should be decently well equipped now, with all the stuff we just threw her away. This might be helpful, helpful to her. Yeah. That one. I don't think there's point, much point in her dual wielding scimitar, to be honest with you. Better, sh er, nicer shield is probably a better choice. A shield? Yeah. I got a shield on her though. Don't worry about it. I sent. Oh, and she uses shillelagh, doesn't she? Ah, uh, she has the spell. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's good, baby. We don't need to send her more stuff. She's got a load of magic items now and shit. Okay, well, have a, have a look through. Make sure she, she's using the best of what we sent her. Yeah. And then uh, I'll toss back in the chest whatever she's not using. Like, for example, gloves. She definitely needs better gloves. Mm hmm. Do I send her any gloves? One pair. They're the only gloves I really had. You toss the scale mail on her. Oh yeah, fuck it. I got upgraded my armor now, so why why not? Mm. Now, is, is the Catherick shield there better than better than the uh, Iron Vine shield? That boots of Geno Striding is a really good item. She could she use a short sword? A scimitar is better, unless that has a good effect. Um, as long as it's, it's as long as it's finesse. Why is scimitar better? Yeah, I think she's a bit more damage, but let's send it over. Um, well, because that the one she's using doesn't have much damage at all. I've got two extra ones here on uh, on Astarian short swords. Way better. <clears throat> well, they still do 1 to 6 plus 2, but the conditional damage there is added in, so deal an additional 1 to 8 pierce damage to targets still have all their hit points. On the one she's using? On the one you just sent her. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what about the other one, though? The fifth. Um, the failure. Now, that being said, if that's Break the Unbroken, if that's a thing that applies to all of her abilities, then it is better because I'm probably attacking with her weapon too much, right? Failure of Louvre is a Elistry sword. It's fun. But unfortunately I can't I can't justify having it on a star as much as I would love to. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Or can I? Hold on, actually maybe I can. Oh you know what though? This, this is this is somewhat better for her. There's okay, hold on. She's gonna get this sword, I'm gonna take some back. What? Did you put it back on? Life so, sort of life stealing and a critical hit. No, where did the where did the uh, Elestri? I sent that to Asterion. I mean, that sword is not that great for her. Sort of life stealing. But I mean, if it's not a critical hit. You attack more than what I, I do. That's a what type of weapon is this? Long sword. Hmm. Yeah, she has more than enough items now, babe. It's all good. We don't need to maximize this stuff. Cool. Or just remember, if you need to spread some stuff around again, that she has a bunch of magic items. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. I think we're done here, babe. We can just move on. Yep. I, I would save probably after all the stuff. And I think we just go to sleep now. Where the fuck our beds are? Yeah, at? sleep. Up here. And then we'll be in Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. I suspect there might be something. Weigh heavily upon you. 
Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. <sighs> the Absolute is not a god, but an <clears throat> elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Dun, dun, dun. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. And what then? You are prone to impulses as uncontrollable as the gods themselves. Will you even have a say in what you do? Will you liberate the true souls from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain? I feel like an even a controlled nether rain and control of mind flares and like gods are dead and stuff is pretty fucked up. Difficult mm -hmm. to control. Hmm. Like, there's, <laughs> there's like three <laughs> good and three bad answers here. Yeah, one's bad. Uh, two is probably okay too. Rid himself of these disturbing impulses. Maybe once you're, mm -hmm. the god that is a, dead or some shit. The, the, the darker. Oh, I want to freeze. Eh, that's well, okay. Five is is the chaos one. I think five or six. When mom comes, I'll do it. Feels right, baby. Okay, good. So I want to do that one. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Weirdly, I'm watching you here. Mm. Is that a portal? Um. Those are Yankee. Attack! Help me! Okay. I'm gonna high gish something. Four updates available in the journal, baby. Fresh J. There's a lot of stuff we need to read in there, honestly. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that we'll, for now. Yeah. Um, I would consider it, because you roll... No, wait. It's just hides the chaos. Like, I can hmm. use it. Okay, go for it. Uh-huh. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. Who's saying that? Oh, that's the absolute. Yep. Not the absolute. Uh, our, the, our the, person. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um. See ya. Oh, I hit you with that? Didn't you weren't highlighted on my screen? Oh, whatever. Um. So because I have the sword of Elastri, right? Because her, she's like the goddess of like songs and sword work. Um. I have it on Astari, and all enemies within six meters of range have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. And affected creatures receive an extra 1 to 4 thunder damage. Um, and it, as the, the sword shrieks, or the sword can sing, and then all allies within 6 meters have a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and charisma, wisdom, and held and saving throws. So should I make enemies take damage, or make us do better um, attack, charisma, and wisdom throws? I don't know, babe. <laughs> Let's shriek. That sounds fun. All right, then we go. On. Actually, are you already? No, you haven't drank from me yet, so uh, we're gonna eat you. Sorry. I'm, I'm a dinosaur. Mm. <laughs> also, I realized I forgot to. Uh... That's fantastic. That officers are great. <laughs> Oh, so I realized I forgot to upgrade her spells, babe. So she's got all these spell slots, level one spells prepared. Oh, lol. Yeah, I realized I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. You can, you can, you can upcast them. It's whatever. But what are you, what are you, are you, is it still your turn? No, you've ended your turn. I see. I wanted to see what she had as her on her action bar as Dialogue Source. There's not much as Crows to Spit. There's a Leaping Pounce. 
It's not my turn, it's your turn, babe. I know. I know. Um. Oh, escape to the portal before the absolute takes control. Three turns remaining. Okay, we need to get to the portal then, apparently. Yep. Um, see, you guys are sort of all together, so it's sort of a bit difficult for me, but that's all right. No. Um, it's about... This one. No. It's about this one. And that's you. Uh, this one. Rude. Oh, babe, you polymorphed us all in the chickens. Or something. A dog or a cat. Everyone's a dog or a cat. I'm a dog. Babe, the dogs have little pouches on their sides. You are not a dog. Look at that dog, babe. It has little pouches on its side. I see, I see. We need to get to the portal. Babe. Hilarious. I love wild yeah, magic. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to run here and not fight by the look of things. Yeah, yeah, let's just, let's dash, let's run. We should, we should still play like our two turns. Okay, would you move? Goodness gracious. Aha. More are coming. Hurry, or we will all become thralls. Okay, I'm going to um, disengage. Where's the disengage button? Oh, disengage. And then I'm going to. Don't forget your cunning action. I wonder if the guns are watching me. Oh, yeah. Sorry, has like no problem getting there. He can get to this turn. Easy. Oh, just because skull. you got there, we all got there. Oh, okay, cool. <gasps> um, Casca say? That's a big skull. Whatever that thing is, it's not going to last much longer. I'm unfortunately playing as a starting right now, so I don't get to hear his pretty voice. Are these guys? They're gifts. They're oh, they're the monk people. Yeah, they're gifts. They're gifts. They're gifts. They're right. They're gifts. Yankee. They're not gifts. Yankee. They're gifts. They're right. Oh, they're gifts. They're right. I'm glad they actually appeared in this. See, look, they're the monk people. They're doing punches. Oh, you're in combat with all those dudes, eh? Intellect of Hours are on our sides, apparently. That's fascinating. Really? Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Hurry! I can't hold them back alone. Oh, Jesus, we need to get into combat. Yeah, I gotta get the bear. No, these are Gith Yankee. Oh, okay. They're not Gizurai. It seems not like that.
could thunder wave them all to the death, but. Yeah, I want to be able to loot them. Uh, I gave her the tough feet, right? right. I wish they had Circle of Stars, Drew. Those are really cool. Friend of Kate. They're beating up our intellect of ours. Oh no. Why do we have intellect of ours is my question. I'm not entirely certain. Probably some friends of Orpheus. Or who is likely to be revealed as Orpheus. <laughs> um, friends of Orpheus. Orpheus? As in, like, has intellect of ours. So that doesn't literally make any sense at all, I know. I'm not entirely certain. I, I don't think that that's what it is. It could be. Could be, yeah, who knows. Let's toss it like a four up here with you. This is the corpse of a giant dead god, but look at things. You guys are terrible. See ya. Time to resurrect me some zombies, motherfuckers. Yeah, do, do, do them up. They all dead now. Oh no, it's just dead. I can I have one of these at a time? See. No. Oh, no. Spore Druid is really our cool. Oh, I got two of them, but look at things. I also have Anime Dead the Spell. Yeah, it's from your necklace. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't have any more bodies, so. Yes. Help me. Um, when we have extra bodies, you should toss them in your inventory. Just FYI. Extra what? Bodies? Yes. If you need bodies to resurrect, oh. toss bodies in your inventory. Pick them up. Carry them. Hmm. There's some chasm creeper over here we can loot. See that? There's a whole situation happening up here. What is this? Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe that is Orpheus. Probably. Oh, too bad. Oh, uh, there's a mind flare here? What the fuck? Oh, we don't have Basel here. There's a mind flare here. Yeah. Is that the Emperor? That's not Blackus, that's probably Orpheus. It's the Emperor. Tentacled freak. What in the hell is this? The Good Yankee is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. Proved me that you are who you say? You saved a child from a viper. 
Back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the us and my night soul from my soul cage. You let me live last time you were here. Though it brought Black Eth's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. Detect the hearts, I'd say. Did you get the tech that off? Uh. Uh. What's on the go? I guess there's the tech that can work. Mama, or, or let's, did you start attacking? No, what no, happens? it looks like there's combat going on behind you, though. I'm in battle. I am also in battle. Okay. I suppose it kind of makes sense. We only have so long to do that, though. Honestly, there's a belt battle happening. Sure, yeah. Um, aberration. If you look at him, it says aberration, level 12 mind flare, uh, EC 18, renegade illithid, which makes me think he's probably telling the truth if it says renegade. It is interesting. I have very little that I can do against this. Yeah, Orpheus is there. Orpheus is here, hmm. but the Emperor is also here. I don't know Orpheus isn't the one who's protecting us. And it's this Emperor dude is just like some mind fire or some shit. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. I have no fucking idea. Alright, kill the Giths, talk to Orpheus and the Emperor, I guess. Wait a minute. Yeah, so one of the people, the gifts there say, Prelat Slyceric, Chief of Orpheus's Honor Guard. Which makes me wonder, like, what? So, cause does that mean that the gifts are protecting Orpheus then? See the guy with that right in front of you? Chief of Orpheus's Honor Guard. Yeah, I see that. I have no idea what the fuck is going on right now. Like, legit none. Very confusing. Four fucking damage, holy shit. You got armor, honey. Oh, I'm almost dead. How did you almost die? I have no idea, I'm almost dead. I was hit for some fire damage and stuff, apparently. Hmm. Well then. you heard by your command. Hmm. We'll toss up that uh, that entity. What? Your your entity? That's what we're talking about, my love. You're a spore druid, you have you, you have an entity. Entity? Yeah. Symbiotic entity? Uh, yeah, it does some stuff. I mean, it consumes a wall-shaped charge. You gain 40 temporary hit points and deal an additional 1 to 6 necrotic, necrotic damage. But I haven't really been attacked yet. I've probably got 93 hit points, so... Mm. I'm favoring going on the offense instead. Wouldn't that also go on the offense? <clears throat> it gives me hit points. Which is more of a defensive thing. I also don't have a lot of single target spells. Try and attack that dude without hurting you. But I could attempt the whole person.
Fortunate. Fortunate. Oh, there are two dudes in the- I didn't really notice those guys in the top. Yeah, I know, so second ago. Ow. Did you, <laughs> you get double credits? Did you hear what Astarian said, though? No, I didn't. No, my sweet, bloodthirsty friend. It's <laughs> really cute. Well, well, clearly with that having just been said, he needs, to, he needs to save me. Plus, he has so many actions, it's fine. Yeah, this this chief person is quite uh, dangerous. Oh, nice, Astarian. Defend my honor. All right, I'm gonna take a pot. Could you shove the person away and back up? I wonder. I can't shove. Not very good. I don't have any greater healing pots. Where, where did my greater healing pots go? Out of there. I need to get some things I can do on a bonus action. Um, if I had killed someone, I would be invisible right now, but that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna roll. Oh, yeah, I should probably bend left on that. Oh, ow, my face. I'm glad I used a grater just then. Please don't attack me. I should have survival instinct myself. I have them way better. Save throws. Let's examine them. Let's examine them. They're defo monks. Yeah, they got lots of key stuff. They're all monks. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Good attack. Zero damage. They're all grouped up here, which is the problem. A bit. Ah. I said a bit. I could thunder wave you all. I really heard he didn't. I got a crossbow. Yeah, I got a very little percent chance. I got spells and stuff on me around this front side. What the best to be at here? Yeah, I feel you. They've all got, like, I can barely hit them. 20% chance to hit. Holy crap. Yeah, they're good. No better moment. So I think I'm just gonna keep badge whistling them. Every single one, eh? Well! Look, the big one's almost dead. Where did that grasping vine come from? Oh, it's Jahira. Yeah, cool. I summoned it. It's very cool. I just got two zombies. Yep. That's fine. Just don't hit me. You can that too. Oh! 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 Okay. 
Okay, I could help a starian. He helped me a second no, ago. I feel like I'm, I'm better off using... I've got two little five spells now? That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna toss a bunch of these around. Let's toss one, two, three, four, five that way. Okay, now I can move. Mm -hmm. I'm to move out of the way up here a little bit. Sorry, you don't see me. Ha! He went looking for me. Ha ha! It's our victory now. So one dude has a bit of damage onto him. That's really about it. Tough. Hmm. I will. Okay, so you're only you're up at two. I don't need to do any real big healing or anything here. Yeah. I'm alright for now. They can't see me. Okay. <clears throat> That's a bit of damage. Yep. Yep. That was nice. There's a lot of dice rolled again just then, you see that? There was, yeah. Good to be at here. I hate this wall shape again, to be honest with you, but. Definitely have to fix her prepared spells. I mean, she's not saying she doesn't have some decent stuff. That's more the case that everybody's kind of grouped up and it's not a lot of single target stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, just balancing it that way. Yeah. Oh, my way. Keep in mind when you use symbiotic entity as well, you can use circle of um, you can use um, um, halo of spores as a reaction. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Who's left down here? What happened to the mind flare that was here? 
Oh, yeah. he's still there, yeah. He hasn't done anything. He's literally just stood here. Yeah, this would be an interesting spot to have, like, Zale. Like, if Orpheus was, like, here, you know what I mean? But it's not like we knew that this was gonna happen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I had no idea. Yeah. My, my my extra action. Get good, girl. <laughs> I like the zombies. They're fun. Yeah, cool little spore zombies. What is this zombie? You got another? I zombie? don't know where the zombie came from. I'm honestly not certain, but he died and a zombie came up. Mm, yeah, look at that newborn zombie. I like playing. Seems fun. Ah, oh, say, come on. Lame. Oh, I missed like every attack. Not that it mattered, but. No, it's starting. So, so, I would save here probably at some point. Because I feel like something. It's, 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 it's honestly, it's every time we start a conversation. Yeah. Thank you. That was too close. Yeah, the fuck's on the go. Mm. Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. I owe everything to that. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Hmm. Ooh, what do we think? I'd say three. You were in the prison all this time. Why did you deceive me? She's a mind player. Feels obvious to her. Necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Even those who are on a path of becoming one. I was someone once. Someone just like you. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me. Changed me into what I am now. Huh. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. Huh. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course, they had no idea what I really was. 
My needs were huh. sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued. Remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Hmm. Yeah, all these questions are valid. I just start working my way down. I don't know if I can only choose one, though. So what's the first one where I go? Perhaps you can tell you what this battle was all about, or how did you end up here? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Hmm. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prism. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. I kind of like number two. Yeah, two is important, yeah. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. True. I'll go two, because yellow in layering games usually means you, you skip to the next stage. So two is what you want to say. Nothing is yellow though, babe. On my screen... Oh, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I'm, I would... Never mind. <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm, it's just because on my screen was highlighted. A very good question. Yeah. One that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. That Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside, and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. Huh. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus, and find allies in the outer world. You. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so mm. doing, he is unlikely. Do us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. 
a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just mm. another wretched... Well, illiterate. I guess, like, they carry a really drove that home. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I say one. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Hmm. Nah. Nah. How would you say that? I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've yeah. been studying you for nah. a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. <laughs> if you love me, I can evolve you. What would that entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most. Yeah, of I was like, if you turn me into Mind Flare, how am I going to walk around Baldur's Gate? That the benefits. That's what he's going to turn you into half a Mind Flare. I suppose, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of interested in two as well. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Um. I would definitely save. It's up to you. I mean, I don't know if I'd be that damn to come in a mind flare. Probably like, meh. I'm happy to have more powerful friends, but, well, better you than me. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly Do you agree? something special. Now, hold out your hand. Can't okay. Didn't realize you're in the tentacle porn, babe. Tentacle porno. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Probe at the tadpole's intentions, maybe? Oh, conversation ended. It looks like the text th thoughts may be bugged for the moment. Yeah, literally ended the conversation. Yeah, I think the text thoughts are bugged for the moment. Um, I... I would load up. Don't have the tadpole. It yet. just ended the conversation. Yeah, quick load. Oh, there's a there's a detect thought bug currently. Yeah, it would be interesting to know. If the cat's still in my lap. That's a good spell, but the kitty's still in my lap. Babe. I didn't know he was to begin with. Yes, he's cute. so cute. He's my big cute boy. <laughs> my stinky mooey. Oh no, Mr. Moo. You're so cute. His name is Little Mufasa. The answer is twofold. Two. Why would I? You have done. I'm happy to have more. Your mother now. Hold out your. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia, it has become extraordinary. <clears throat> Open your mind to that one, maybe? Understandable. 
It's a big decision. Keep it until you are ready. You and your allies. It has enough vitality to nourish you all, to further your evolution. Okay, I'll Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. Because you're the Cadball guy. Focus. We need That's to resume true. our trip. It would be kind of weird for your character you to do that. I don't know where, wouldn't it? Yeah. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. I've already got enough going on in my fucked up head. It. That's kind of true. Maybe we my character would be the one to try it, or someone else. It under our I do still have four spare tadpoles and that. Like, I don't know if anyone... Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you an illithid. It just brings you halfway there. A bit closer, you know? Now, let's see what these, uh... I didn't want to look at our journal, babe. Holy fuck. There's a lot going on there. Let's just loot these peeps and see what's gonna go here. So there is a portal back to the material plane here. Obviously, don't hit it until we're ready. Where is Orpheus? Over here, in the astral globe of domination. I'd like to talk to him. Or the interact if I can. With cerebral magic. Permeable. But impenetrable. Mm -hmm. Within it, the Githyanki prince is a no, silent... We as can as destroy the things that hold him here. See that on the side? The red, the red thing. Oh yeah. I like Orpheus. His, his, he's clearly the good option compared to Blackest. That's the way the story's been set up, anyway. I, will, I imagine we'll probably have another opportunity. I'd go talk to him for myself and see what he has to say. Seems like a good moment to talk. Sure. This would be a good opportunity, actually, to go and. Uh, there is nothing further I can do for you. No. Consider using my gift. <clears throat> sure. You're gonna leave Mufasa. See you, buddy. I'll see you later. Buddy. Have a good day, my boy. Alright, ladies and gents. See what's cooking there. Oh. 
<laughs> well, Nicole, I'm gonna take a little break here, guys. So, back in car. All right, guys, we're going to end the stream here for a bit, take a little break for maybe like a half an hour, something like that, and then pop on and play again. So thanks for joining. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day.